Stanford, Connecticut. This is my yard now. Let's get that straight. And really, Mark, I want to apologize to you, your fans, but I did you a favor. Because for a middle-aged man to be standing in the middle of a cemetery dressed up like it's Halloween just to get attention, I mean, it's 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 degrading. It's demoralizing. It's, it's, it's no respect. So I did the guy a favor. And I'm going to do everybody else another favor, and it goes like this. Well, I heard George Wallace talk about it. Well, I heard old George put it down. Well, Billy Graham is here to tell you. We don't need your cracker asses anyhow. Fuck you, Alabama. Where the women look like dudes. Chances are, if you're from Alabama, one of your siblings is jigging you, fucking you. Now tell the truth. Alabama. Randy Jackson, Steven Tyler, J-Lo. I know the ratings are a little low. Don't call me. I'll call you, I'm a busy man. Well, you know, it's been a couple months since any of you professional wrestling fans have had the privilege of hearing me speak. And I know you've all been wondering what's going on. So I'm gonna reveal the beginning of the plans that Cult Fiction have for the year 2011. You know, reports of my demise due to a recent incident where some moron, mental midget, threw me off the top of a uh, scary structure. Well, as you can see, I'm still standing here talking shit, and I'm walking on this thing, baby, you know? So uh, I had to look around. I had to start thinking about the situation for cult fiction and realize something, man. Cult fiction, believe me. Don't believe any idiot promoter. Don't believe anything you read on the Internet. Believe me that cult fiction is more than just a gimmick. And to the death... It's not just a catchphrase, it's a way of life. So I decided I needed to make the first move for us this year. And where did I center and why am I singing about Alabama? Well, you know, there's a company that's been running a deathmatch tournament down south. They call themselves IWA Deep South. Well, for Billy Graham and anybody that knows me, you know that when I hear the letters IWA sequentially, it makes me want to vomit. And that's because the only thing that has to do with IWA is some fucked hard piece of crap who I hate more than anybody on this planet. Well, then I noticed that an old friend of mine, Danny Havoc, was going to be making an appearance at this event called the Carnage Cup. And I thought, well, you know, nothing's been really settled between me and Dan Danny Havoc. I don't care whether I was almost killed I don't care what anybody thinks. I don't care if people think the battle's over. I think that I have some more issues that I need to settle with Mr. Havoc. So the members of Cold Fiction got together, and I'm talking about all of them. I'm talking about the ranged. I'm talking about 13. I'm talking about the international deathmatch superstar Masada, brain damage, Ox Baker, Tank, everybody that's ever worn these colors. And we had to decide who, who was going to step up Take the trip to that cesspool called Alabama and help me even the score with Danny Havoc. And the more we talked, the more we realized that one of the members of Cold Fiction that's been getting a raw deal for a really long time, getting suppressed, getting put down, is one of the legs that Cold Fiction was built on. And that man is Mr. Insanity, Toby Klein, the most underrated, talented, hybrid wrestler in the business today. So I called Toby up and said, hey, Toby. The boys and me were talking, and we made a decision. You're going to roll with me into the Carnage Cup. Then I called the piece of crap who runs the thing, Kevin Brain Dead or something the guy's name is. I don't know. who, some hick. And told him, hey, check this out, dude. Cult Fiction are coming, and you are putting Danny Havoc 
against Toby Klein in the first round. I'm not asking you. I'm fucking telling you. Because if you don't fucking do it, there ain't going to be a show. So that's the plan. First round of the Carnage Cup, Mr. Insanity, Toby Klein versus that backstabber, Danny Havoc. There's going to be revenge. Well, you know, I was saying how that IWA makes me sick. You all know we do what we want, when we want, where we want. So I'm coming down there to IWA deep shit. And uh, I don't know. I'm thinking, I'm tossing it back and forth because either I'm going to just shut them down, put them out of business with a little help from my brothers, or maybe, maybe instead of shutting them down, maybe I'll take over the company. I mean, think about it, man. Like, Colt Compound Wrestling, Deep South, has a ring to it. C C W. Kind of like that. So, uh, say what you want, think what you want, but come February 26th in Alabama, Colt Fiction are going to make a statement. Colt Fiction are going to change the course of an entire tournament, and when it's all said and done, I am going to be in control of things as usual. So, bring a change of fucking underwear, baby wipes, whatever you need for your redneck asses. And another thing, you rednecks, one of you pieces of crap, you inbred cracker, racist scumbag, even so much as breeze on me, you're getting your teeth knocked down your freaking throat. That's a promise. Believe it. Bet on it. Make bet on it, baby. Because Pulp Fiction is not for life. It's to the death, baby. And you know what else? It's going to be really, really...